course. It's just time for me to welcome you wherever you're joining us from. Really good to have you with us. Hope you're in good health and surrounded by good people. And if you're not, well, just give them a kick. Well, Vladislav Larin enters the arena. St. Petersburg's finest. Took the gold medal in the Rome Grand Prix most recently. This, of course, the third Grand Prix of the season. Manchester awaits. I think Vladislav Larin has run away somewhere. And as you can see, it's a pretty big stadium. Whoever's going to have to find them. So the hunt is on for the Russian, who's in no hurry. But here he is now. The top ranked man. Double European champion, of course. A world silver medalist back in the day in Russia, no less. And he was performing well all the way through here. That one against Yi Sung Wan. A good start to the day. Well, as I mentioned on the way in, that win for Mahama Cho earlier in the day. And here he comes, flanked by Nelson Miller, his coach. World silver medalist, of course. And indeed, Rio Olympian. Top class athlete. And indeed, top class person. He's relied heavily on his faith to get him back. And all I'm sure, thoughts and prayers from friends and family, be that in London, Paris or Abidjan, where he hails from. They'll be sending their thoughts and prayers to him. So it's good to see him back, fresh from injury. It was an Achilles tendon injury. Never easy to recover from. And these men know each other very well indeed. A few thoughts and prayers there from Vladislav Larin. As the attention turns now to the fight game. Centre referee Dimitri Kim running the rule over this one. I'm sure you're more than familiar with Taekwondo. You don't need me to tell you the rules. You just need to run the rule over this and enjoy the matchup. Laren against Cho, Russia against Great Britain. Mohamed Cho stands at six foot five. Vladis Laren. Vladislav Laren. Just a couple of inches taller. Both men trading front legs to start back kick attempt from Cho. Up close and personal here in the centre of the map, Vladislav Larin. Mohamed Cho. Just about half a metre between them, a swing and a miss from Mohamed. Nice double tap there from Mohamed Cho. Tries to get that front leg on the board. Larin, of course, a picture of concentration as usual, did well to ride the attempted headshot there. and Miller just looking for a bit more movement in and out from Mohamed Cho. Keep the pressure on. Laren does well. Sees it coming. No scores on the board. Halfway through the first. And this is, of course, the first semi-final. Sanong Yi and Anthony Obama, they will go in the next one. Well, no shortage of confidence from Laren. Hasn't taken a back step as yet. Does this time, of course. Retains the centre of the mat. Cho focused and poised. Perhaps passive into the last 30. Twisting kick scored from earlier in the day. No joy just yet. Vladislav Larin quite happy to wait and intimidate both men. Really just about well, 30 centimetres between them now, just shuffling forward. Change of stance from Larin. No attacking intent from either man at this stage. And in terms of highlights, well, there were none at all. Likewise, points for both men. Well, they will live to fight another day here. And speaking of fighting today, Tough times for Team Great Britain. Credit worthy performances in the quarter final. From Christine McNish, Bradley Sindon, and Lauren Williams, all of them losing to the very best.
competitors in their division. And carrying the British flag high is this man here, Vladislav Larin, will be trying to do the same for Team Russia. Well, you guys will know as athletes, coaching instruction so important. How much of it you're taking in, well, that's up to you. But we will be taking in the second round. No scores on the board. If you're just joining us, you have missed nothing. The Battle of the Heavyweights recommences here. Round number two, semi final number one. Day one here in Chinese Taipei. Uh, Mancho, he's been quick off the spot with that front leg. Good response from Laren. Of course, in the heavyweight division, covering so important, as it is in all groupings, of course. If you make a mistake in the heavyweights, that'll be good night, Taiwan. Well, plenty of pop on both shots. The distance at a premium at the moment. Headshot from Cho, whistles past there. And the knowledgeable crowd. There's a lot of young kids from Dojangs all around Chinese Taipei gathered here. Yeah, we've seen some top class Taekwondo. A little shoulder shimmy from Cho. Vladislav Larin not by and steps through with a back kick of his own. Shake of the head from Cho and a nice show of respect that shows the integrity of both men. But also the composure under pressure from a very relaxed looking Mahama Cho. Larin a little bit up on his toes now, trying to get some momentum. Back leg turning kick. Gets close, but no cigar in this one. Larin just conceding some ground there. Cho loves a little jumping kick at the inside there, or a double on the way out. Can find neither. The Russian coach giving Vladislav Larin some encouragement here. Into the last 10 to go of the second round. Cho, full of concentration, fake chop kick. Larin not buying, not for the first time. No Gamjons on the board either. And they will have a minute to reassess. And as you guys will know, it may look easy, it may look calm, but when you're in there, well, both men standing at six foot five, which is around, well, just about two meters tall, and shipping well, 100 kilos or more. Well, that's the way Nelson Miller likes it. Disguising the intention to go to the face from Mahama Cho and also taking his time. Good conversation between Vladislav Larin and his coach. Nelson Miller, of course, a top class heavyweight in his day. Fighter for Cuba, a coach now for Great Britain. Been aware of a successful time in the Netherlands, and he'll be called upon here just to wipe down a little bit of water on the face and protect her. Vladislav Larin and Mahama Chua would have conducted it in good spirit, and that continues. Larin looking for a medal. Cho, likewise. And both men, more importantly, looking for a spot in the final. Well, it's not been attacking, but who's going to make a mistake? Front leg whistles past there from Larry, and he knows he got close. Blocked by the shoulder of Mahama Cho. Nice little flick to the body there. No signs of injury from Cho pops it off the protector. Both men in Gamjon territory, back round the corner. Referee gets in the way a little bit, perhaps. Dimitri Kim did well to avoid. 
Cam John given. And as we said, it could be a Cam John game. One on the board. A minute and 11 to go in the, the third round here. And he changes stance. Thinks about the back line turning kick. Leaves a space. Well, there was the double that I mentioned. Nelson Miller giving the advice to keep up the pressure, not to wait too much. It's only one point, and it is indeed good advice because Laren sneaks in, takes the body shot. The Russian has the lead, two to one. 40 to go in the third. Good front leg push from Laren. And again, he's got the measure of Mohamed Cho now, and the Russian, in a hurry, steals the lead. Can Mohamed Cho respond? Good back leg turn the kick from Laren. He keeps the centre ground, forces Cho towards the boundary. Cam John given for stepping out. And at the moment it will be Vladislav Laren stepping into the final. Tries with the back kick round the corner. Big body shot. Sweeping reverse. But when you leave the door open, Vladislav Laren is there to capitalise. Gives the Cam John seven point gap, ten to go. Can Cho find an answer? Tries with the jumping chop. Big punch doesn't score. Vladislav Laren's defensive skills have been perfect and he shuts the doors on the ambitions and efforts of the smiling Mohamed Cho. Good effort from the Brit, but it was brilliance in the end from the Russian. A good fight, heated up nicely in the third round. Credit of course to Mohamed Cho. Good to see him back after his injury. But great credit of course to Vladislav Larin. Tremendous performance from the Russian. He looked sharp, he looked ready. He's looking good for the final. Who's going to join him? Well, we get to find out. Semi-final number two is on its way. And there is the confirmation for you by seven points. Clean and clear. Vladislav Laren. Tremendous from him.